brought up in the Christian faith and life. I and will with, with God's, God's help. help. Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? I will, I will with God's, God's help. help. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I, I renounce them. them. Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I, I renounce them. them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the world? I, I renounce, renounce them. them. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? And do, I do. do you put your whole trust in his grace and love. I, I do. do. Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? I, I do. do. Now remaining seated, I'm going to ask all of you, family of God, an important question. And I want you to think about it and, and really mean it. Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support these persons in their life in Christ? We yes. will. Let us join with these who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. And now I'll invite the congregation to stand. You're going to be responsibly reading with me on page 304. Everyone. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe, I believe in God, God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will, with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will, with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will, with God's help. Let us now pray for these who are to receive the sacrament of new birth. And David has actually asked be the one to pray the prayers for his daughter. Deliver her, O oh, oh Lord, from the way of sins and deaths. Lord, hear our prayers. Open her heart to your grace and the truth. Lord, hear our prayers. Fill her with your holy and life given spirit. Lord, hear our prayers. Keep her in the faith and the communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayers. Teach her to love others in the power of the Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send her into the world uh, in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring her to the fairness of your peace and glory. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection. Look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. The congregation may be seated. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moves in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. 
through it we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that she who is here cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him, to, to, him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. crucified, proclaim his resurrection, and share with us in his eternal priesthood. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Share God's peace, and greet one another as we celebrate in